The Electronic Entertainment Expo 2013 was the 19th Electronic Entertainment Expo held. The event took place at the Los Angeles Convention Center in Los Angeles, California. It began on June 11, 2013, and ended on June 13, 2013, with 48,200 total attendees. The main highlights included details of two major next generation consoles, Microsoft's Xbox One and Sony's PlayStation 4, as well as Nintendo's unveilings of Super Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 8, and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Topic. Press conferences Konami, Microsoft, Electronic Arts, Ubisoft, and Sony all hosted press conferences during the conference. However, Nintendo took a different approach by holding no traditional press conference. Instead, Nintendo held, "...a few smaller events that are specifically focused on our software lineup." and aired a special episode of Nintendo Direct to focus on upcoming U.S. releases and new game unveilings. <laughs> Konami Konami held its third annual pre-E3 show on June 6, 2013. The presentation showcased the company's 40th anniversary and its Dance Dance Revolution, Classroom Edition initiative, before providing updates on upcoming game releases. This included the games Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2, Pro Evolution Soccer 2014 and Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain. Microsoft. Microsoft's press conference took place on June 10, 2013 at 4.30 p.m. GMT. The company announced a November 2013 release date for its forthcoming Xbox One console, priced at $499. The software lineup was also revealed, including Dead Rising 3, Quantum Break, Rise, Son of Rome and the next installment of Halo, later revealed to be Halo 5, Guardians. Controversy arose during Microsoft's showcase of Killer Instinct when an apparent reference to rape was made between the onstage demonstrators. Microsoft later apologized for the incident and stated that the remarks were not scripted. <laughs> <laughs> Electronic Arts Electronic Arts press conference took place on June 10, 2013 at 1 p.m. PDT. Among the new titles shown were the racing game Need for Speed, Rivals, the parkour simulator Mirror's Edge Catalyst and the first-person shooters Battlefield 4 and Titanfall. EA Sports announced a number of new releases, such as Madden NFL 25, NBA Live 14, FIFA 14, NHL 14 and EA Sports UFC. <laughs> Ubisoft Ubisoft's press conference took place on June 10, 2013 at 3 p.m. PDT. Upcoming action-adventure games included Watch Dogs and the sequels Assassin's Creed IV, Black Flag and Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, Blacklist. Two new franchises, The Crew and The Division, were also announced. <laughs> Sony Sony's press conference took place on June 10, 2013 at 6 p.m. PDT. The PlayStation 4 was publicly shown for the first time, retailing at $399. The software lineup included Infamous, Second Son, The Order, 1886 and Killzone, Shadow Fall. There were also new games introduced for the PlayStation 3, such as Gran Turismo 6, Beyond, Two Souls and The Last of Us. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Nintendo The E3 edition of Nintendo Direct aired at June 11, 2013 at 7 a.m. PDT. Nintendo first showed a new trailer for the Nintendo 3DS titles Pokémon X and Y, including the announcement of a new Pokémon type, Fairy type. After that, Nintendo focused mostly on showing upcoming Wii U titles. Nintendo showed some of the third-party and digital titles coming to the Wii U, and more about previously announced games such as X, The Wonderful 101, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, and the first gameplay footage of Bayonetta 2. Among the new games announced for Wii U were the new installments of Super Smash Bros, Super Smash Bros for Nintendo 3DS and Super Smash Bros for Wii U, Super Mario 3D World, and Mario Kart 8. Topic: <laughs> List of notable exhibitors. This is a list of major video game exhibitors who made appearances at E3 2013. Topic: List of games. This is a list of notable titles that appeared at E3 2013. <laughs>